Let us understand how do we work with reals. Reals are nothing but the fractional numbers. So, so far we have seen how to work with integers and to work with reals, again depending upon the numbers that what we use, be the small numbers or big numbers in fractional. So there are two types of reals available in Java. The first one is float and second one is double. Float occupies 4 bytes of memory and double occupies 8 bytes of memory. So if you are using a small range of floats, then you have to use float data type. And if you are using bigger float numbers, then you have to use double data type. Now let us see how we code float and then double data types in program. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you are new to Training Mark, we are the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. To create flow data, we use a keyword called flow. So I'm just using average marks. So now I'll define the average marks to be with real numbers. So now suppose I use something like this. So now if you look at this, the real numbers are fractional parts, and if you define it like this, but still we are getting an error, right? So it says that what is it error? So it says, hey, we required flow and you provided double. What does it mean? Is by default all the real numbers are treated as double in Java. So if you see any number with fractional part, then it is treated as double by default. So as we know, double occupies eight bytes of memory, and left hand side you have only four bytes of memory. So then that's the reason it is saying, hey, you are provided double, but we actually require flow. So how do we inform your Java compiler that it is a float number? So again here, we use small f or capital F as a suffix. So if you can print sys out, and then I'll say average marks plus average marks. So, the important point here is whenever you use any float data, you have to use small f or capital F as a suffix. Then only it will be recognized as a float data, otherwise, it will be recognized as double data. So, if you want to use very big numbers, then you have to go for double. So, example, now average annual revenue. So, this average annual revenue. So z equals to will define the huge number. So there is no need to define any small d or capital D to represent it as a double number. By default, these numbers are treated as double, which is a eight bytes of data. So now you can print this out average annual revenue. So plus average annual revenue. So let us save this. And then let me run this current file to see the output. So now you can see the average marks is a 43.34 and average annual revenue, we got it, it printed with the exponential form of 7. So we can use different formatting of data, how you want to represent floats and then how you want to represent the, you know, the numbers and all the stuff. So that will understand how do you format your data in our upcoming videos. But to work with reals, we use just float uh, using small f or capital f as a suffix and double by default you can use this as a number.